What's up, guys? I'm really the God Slayer. I'm really gaming. So, let's say you want to play a, some something like a, a spell sword in Elden Ring, right? I've got a particular armor set, weapon, and shield. Um, if you want to switch between your, of course, spell casting and shield, that might be able to give you a little. A uh, good head start, I guess you could say. Um, we're gonna first talk about the armor. It is called the Fire Monk's armor. As you can see, I have many copies of this armor piece, of these armors. And what I'll be showing you as well is the uh, Uchi Katana. The armor you can get from this area, and I'll show you how to get it in a second. And of course, let's say you want to put your shield in this hand. Now, this shield is the brass shield. Right? This shield is the brass shield. I'm gonna actually un I'm gonna actually uh There you go. So that I can have a proper look. All right, so with all that on, with the with the armor, shield, weapon, and of course, uh, where's that? Well, not this, but it would be the uh, little spell casting thing that you would have if you were a spell caster. Um, all that on would give me a medium load at around 42-ish. And, uh, it has the special ability of putting yourself in the Batsujutsu stance. If you hit the R1 while in the stance, you'll do a lateral, or, uh, you'll do a, a horizontal slash, and if you do the R2 in the stance, you'll do the vertical slash. It's beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and again, you can use a shield, and again, uh, with the shield, you can either two-hand, or go back into one hand, and of course, with the shield, you can still block, and of course, you can still use the unsheath special techniques, so you can go, you know, from blocking an attack, to, uh, you can go from blocking to immediately shooting and doing that. And this blocking has 100% physical damage negation. So as long as it's not like a power attack that would break your stance, it will be a, uh, it'll be a nice, it'll be a nice uh, protection, a nice good protection for you, considering that you're going to be using like a one-hander and things of that nature. So now let's get into how we can find all these pieces and put them together. Well, you see how we can put them together, but let's see where we can find all these pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and put back on the armor that I usually wear, the clean rot set. Get my weapons back in order here. All right. All right, we're ready. Now, first and foremost, this armor set, you will find it just uh, south here of Eastern Tableland. Now, the way you would want to get here, if you start off from the very beginning of the game, right here, the first steps, you'll travel north all the way until you get to the first main little uh, out camp with uh, some soldiers there. Here at this out camp, you can actually grind the soldiers and get the shield. Here at this camp. Boom, we got the shield. Right here. It's the very beginning camp you come across in the game. Beautiful. There's a, a grace to your left and a grace to your right of it. You're going to go to the grace to your left of it. And there should be a gate here. You're going to... If you have a horse, or you might want to wait until you get your horse. 
and basically you just gotta like fast. You basically get just have to rest out of grace like like four or five times, and you'll end up in that situation where you'll get a horse soon. On your horse, you want to gallop through all of this, pass all these enemies, screw all these enemies, and then you're gonna boom, hit Storm Hill Shack. Now, if you want to actually get the katana first, you can break right and go to uh, Death Touch Catacombs. So what you'll do is you would break right at the Storm Hill Shack, run it all the way through this little area until you get uh, near Saints Ridge. So we'll actually run that. We'll run that so you can see it. So I'll show you how to basically get the the uh, katana first. All right, you're gonna come across this area. It's gonna be nice and stormy out. And you're gonna come across this little shack here. There's gonna be a girl in here. You're gonna wanna talk to that girl three times. Make sure you talk to her three times. All right, cool. Everything's good, everything's great. And so now you're gonna head down this path and you're just gonna keep going. Gonna keep going. Down this path. Keep going. Pass that dude. Screw him. You'll see a. You'll see a nice little. Grace right here. You can touch it. Beautiful. That'll be the War Master Shack. Beautiful. Don't worry about that. Keep moving. You can jump over that. Keep moving. Jump over that. And instead of going straight, you're going to come up this little road right here on the side. Now, down there is Saints Bridge. But we're going to bust this to this immediate area here. And here is Death Touch Catacombs. And here, you want to grab that. Grab it. Good. Cool. You're going to come down this way. You're not gonna open the door. You're gonna break this first. Oop. Make sure I grab that, 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 that root rest. You're gonna touch this as well. Touch that, make sure you touch that. You're gonna break this first level. You can kill these guys. One, two hitters. Wait until they're about to re respawn. Kill that one. Okay, good. One, two. Again, wait till they're about to respawn. Boom, oh, no, no, no. There you go. Alright. You killed him. Cool. You're going to come down these steps. You come down these steps. There's going to be enemies right here. You can kill them if you want. You can kill them if you want. But. If you don't want to kill them. And you come down those steps. Just come down those steps and immediately break this way. And you can run past all these enemies. And this one's going to spawn too once you get to moving around it. There you go. Go to sleep. So you'll come down that way. You'll come through this door. And you'll run all the way in here. And once you run in here, you see the wall, but you're gonna come, you're gonna go in that way. I'm gonna grab this first. There you go. And you'll come inside this room. And on this guy's dead body right here, is gonna be the sword. Uchi Katana. Mm. Now you can choose to continue the fight 
Four. Think so. Oh, y'all want to play games? Make sure you kill them before they get up, because if you don't... You have to deal with very annoying enemies like this. There you go. Whatever. Whatever. Go to sleep. And... Thank you. Okay, somehow I ended up deeper in this cave. But, you can then... Oh, wow. Look at that bullshit there. Look at that bullshit there. Alright, we're just gonna run out of here. We're just run out of here. See that? Just keep running. Keep running. You're gonna hear him, but just keep running. If you got to, slow down a little bit. Just keep running. Keep moving. There you go. Of course, you'll have that grace right there just in case you die. And now you would have had the katana. Beautiful, great. All right, now, let's keep it moving right on along. Now, from here, you go back down to the Storm Hill Shack, right? And you'll make your way north along this road right here. You're gonna go under this bridge. You're gonna hit this bridge here where you're gonna see an old lady. Keep going until you hit the very edge of this bridge. And where it seems like you can't go any further, you're gonna come down here, and it's gonna take you along the side path around the castle, so you don't have to go into the castle. Once you've done that, you're gonna hit this, Lake Facing Cliffs. This is where you can actually farm the two sites I'm using. You can take that, make sure you hit the Church of Erith when, you, when, you uh, when you're up there. Sorcerer Thops is there. You'll uh, make your way through this way to the Lierna Shore Lake Shore. Now, once you're here, make your way into the water and stay near the center. And just keep going until you see the Academy Gate Town uh, Grace. Once you see that Grace, you're going to punch to the right, to the upper northeast. And you're going to come, you're going you're to know you're there because you're going to go through some woods. And you should see the East Learner Lakeshore. Uh, what's it called again? The Grace. You'll see that Grace, get it, and you'll come through this cavern, this little uh, canyon area. There's going to be wolves along here, but just run on past that. Then you're going to run past uh, one of the fire mugs that you're going to be killing. Run past that, and you're going to come up this little hill until you reach Eastern Tableland. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. Now, at Eastern, uh, in Eastern Tableland, you have two options. You can run down there, kill those two, kill those three, come back and reset here just by killing. 
Now, the one you have to kill to get the actual drops is going to be the guy in the middle. Big guy. And I'll demonstrate that fight for you right now. Make sure you kill these two off. And he's gonna... He's gonna spew a lot of fire out. And be careful, because that hammer he's got can do some damage. Just take your time. You'll just keep killing this guy. You're gonna kill the guy in the rose specifically. But there's another guy you can choose to, uh, you can farm him and reset, or you can farm them both. And the other guy's over here. Up by this little rock formation here. He's inside that camp with uh, three other, one of those uh, little follower chicks. As you can see, he's right there with those uh, girls inside. And inside that camp is some good stuff too you might wanna get. Uh, that hammer they have, that's a hammer that's in his hand. You can also get that hammer to drop. I have that as well, uh, let's head back. So you can kill those two and then head back to the uh, the grace and just reset. It's, it's gonna take a, it's a nice farm. It, you know, it took me about an hour to get all the pieces to the armor, but, uh, when we take a look at the weapon itself, here it is. It is a strike hammer. It it scales with dexterity better than strength. And it's weight is six. So let's say if I took this off and took that off, and I put that on, and then put on Basically, if I wanted to go over there, the, the whole look of the uh, of the fire monk. Uh, my equipment load would be medium, so I would still be able I would be able to dodge a lot faster there. And that's your uh, heavy swing. Of course, you got your you know. So that's if you want to use this pretty cool looking hammer. It's considered a hammer. Um, you can actually grind it from them. Uh, oh dear. Did that all wrong. There you go. You can actually grind that from them. Now, uh, like I said, the katana, if you're more of trying to make a, for a better defense, because like my, my character is more uh it's more glass cannon-y, but with my mo my mobility with uh my bloodhound step being what keeps me alive in the sense of a defense. Um but if you want it to, you know, again sh sh shield and sword. Um, there's of course this sword, uh, uh, where's that? You can get the clean rots if you've been, if you've been doing the clean rots, uh, grind that I showed you to get this, this armor. You could use this sword as well. Um, it scales off of dex and strength. Its weight is four. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the Uchi Katana. Uh, and where is the, uh, I had another sword somewhere in here. Let's see, uh, let's actually take a look into my chest. There's a sword that you can kind of, you can kind of pick up early too. Do I have it in here? Okay. Um, where is it at? It is this sword here, uh, the Lord Swarms. It's, it's the same place where you could grind the shield, but I showed you in that little gate, uh, gate area. You can get this sword from there as well. And uh, this sword is a little bit lighter, but its damage is also a little lower. It scales off decks. But 
the Uchi Katana though is is where it's at simply because it's got decent damage, a decent weight, it's slash and pierce, and it's got uh blood loss as a passive effect. And like I said, uh so your three locations are gonna be here for the monk's armor. Just for us to, to kind of do an overview. It's going to be here in the Death Catacombs for the Uchi Katana. It's going to be here at the Gate Front Ruins in that, in that whole Gate Front area here for the shield that gives you 100% uh, physical negation. And, the, and those three places will be for your... I guess you could say your main starter spell sword startup. And again, just to make sure that you understand exactly what you're looking at when you get there. And I'll actually show you how to get to the starting point from uh, the very beginning, actually. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So that you can at least see the starting point that I started you at from this is where you begin of course and we're gonna take you all the way to the gate front because this is where I led you to start to go here and it's also where I led you to start to go all the way through here up through there through there to there alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and take you right up here to the starting area just in case you might get a little lost in the very beginning you can kill the tree signal if you want or you can let him go I haven't bothered myself with killing him just yet you can go around him with ease Make sure you stop by that church right there and and get your uh you know get your nice items in the church of Ella. You wanna make sure you get that. You can uh upgrade your weapons up to three times coming here to that uh to that little anvil. So again you just skip him, go into the church, do that, run through here, screw them, keep going. There's a dungeon to your left here, along that wall, but, you know, another time, another place. This camp, this camp, you can you can uh, grind the guys here for some decent EXP, and you can get that shield to drop, that brass shield to drop. And the way it works is, you tend to get the, the weapons and the shields that you see them actually holding. So like those guys, that guy right there, that guy right there, you know, he's got the brass shield. You can see he has it on. Killing him or grinding him will allow you to get it. And of course, this would be the, the gate that you would go through. And again, that's the reason why I say you're gonna haul ass because when you try to go through that gate, He's that that big guy's gonna come down here and try to do some crazy things to you. So you grind here for the shield, and then of course take the pass that I showed you, and you should be able to get your sword right after your shield. Get your sword, and then that should be able to help you kill a little bit, you know, as you as you go along to really kill your way up to here, and just kill your way along. And again, don't fight unnecessarily. Boom. You know, stay in the middle of the lake and just keep moving until you hit and make sure you get your, your maps, your, your, your map points. Hit Academy, hit Eastern, hit Eastern Tableland, and you're just going to grind here to here, here to here, here to here. From that dude to that dude, from that dude to that dude. You just, you're going to do that. That's going to be your longest grind. It's going to be the actual out, the actual monk's outfit itself. But thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you spell swords out there and get a nice, good uh, uh, initial oomph until you start getting to the higher levels. But I figure that this would probably be the best starter kit 
that you could work with while also getting some levels. Armor Relic the Godslayer. Armor Relic Gaming. I'm out.